What's going on YouTube? Welcome to episode 164 of the USS Enterprise D tutorial. I'm Zero Elite and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in today's episode. If you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button helping me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And um, don't forget to check out the Discord. I'll have a link in the description below. But right now we've got a 28 minute episode for episode 164. We're going to be picking up where we left off, redesigning our main shuttle bay doorway. I showed you guys one way to do it. Now we're going to do it, I think, a little bit better way than what we had before. Uh, so anyway, we've uh, let's just kick back, relax, and jump right into it. Because we've got kind of a long one today, about 28 minute, uh, minutes. Um, So basically what we're going to be doing is just making a couple of changes here so that we can have um, the registration on the outside of the shuttle bay doors. And we're going uh, to make an actual lip so that when the shuttle bay doors are completed, there's a nice lip on the outside of it. Because that's basically how it looks on the model. It does kind of have a lip going around it. this blue line we don't need this anymore and then once we get the shuttle bay door in place we'll kind of tie it all together on the inside of uh, the primary shuttle bay and then I think we have just a little bit more work to do on our airlocks and then that'll wrap up uh, episode 164 This may not make sense now, but what we're uh, basically going to be doing is moving this down by two blocks. And that will make a huge difference. And you'll see what I mean by the time that this is done. Because we'll have our... Uh, we'll have the doorway in place, and then we'll also have uh, the registration on the outside. And it'll look great. We're just going to do this one number and then one letter at a time. That's looking pretty good. And we just gotta fix the end. Actually, it looks pretty good just like that. All right. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to start our shuttle bay doors right after the registration. And it's basically the same idea behind what we did before. We're going with the cut line. We're just doing a different starting point now. Now, uh, by bringing this back, and um, I was actually mistaken in the last episode. I said that we we're going to go down by half a cut. It's a few blocks down, so I mean, don't hold that against me. Um, I try my best to remember exactly what I what I did when I did it, but every once in a while, I'll make a slight error with that because you got to understand, like especially the Enterprise D, this was just one. At this point, it's just one big blur especially when you've been working on it for over a year and a half, it can become very easy to forget exactly what you did. 
So I'll end up having to do, um, most of the time, I'll end up actually pre-watching the entire episode before I add any commentary for it. So this way I can um, better advise you guys on what I'm going to be doing. But then sometimes, like with yesterday's episode, I don't watch like two, three ep uh, recordings at a time. I just do them one at a time. So um, that's w that was the reason for the minor error with the uh, with how many rows I'm bringing it back. Um, and it may look weird now because you're probably going to say, like, what are you going to do with all, all that access on the left and right on the sides? It doesn't look right. Don't worry about that right now. We'll come back to that. And we'll, we're will we going to blend everything together. It'll look awesome. Really, the main thing that I want to achieve here is to make sure that we brought this back enough rows so that we have a nice lip that's kind of um, a canopy that's... Not, not even necessarily a canopy, but a lip that's sitting over the uh, shuttle bay door itself. It'll look pretty awesome when it's done. be perfectly honest with you, this shuttle bay, um, after we get this new door in place, this is my favorite one that I've done so far. Before this one, it was the Cerritos, and... Um, the Enterprise D, what I was able to do with this, like it blows what I did with the Cerritos out of the water because just the primary shuttle bay in itself is absolutely massive. Um, and, and then when you take into account all the detailing that we spent time, you know, fleshing out on um, the exterior as well as the interior and then the uh, secondary and tertiary shuttle bays. I mean, this thing has just turned out to be a monster in a good way. There's a mistake there with a the cut, and I'm going to have to fix that. And it's because this row isn't coming out far enough. That's the mistake. So when you get in situations like that, it's not a bad idea just to stop what you're doing, take a, you know, a few moments to go over and double check what you did, and we're pretty quickly able to figure out that the mistake was that I just didn't go far enough with my cut line. We fixed that, and now the problem's been solved. So now we can just continue on with what we were doing, adding in this last row. All right. That looks pretty good. Now, what we're doing right now, to be honest with you, you can probably skip this part because I'm just going to let you know ahead of time that we're going to be adding in an orange wall. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily canon to how the shuttle bay door on the inside actually looked, but just messing around with it based on what I've done with my ship so far, um, it looked better with an orange doorway. Um, covering up this slope than anything else. But, we're not quite there yet. Um, this is definitely qualifies as kind of like exploratory building. We're making some subtle changes, but I'm not necessarily 100% sold on what I have to do here. Or I haven't figured out exactly what I, what I need to do here, is what I should say. You know, stuff like that's going to come in time. You got to mess with this. You know, you got to make a couple of changes before you're going to land where you need to land. And sometimes you just kind of got to spin your wheels a little bit before you end up where you need to. But in my experience, what I've also noticed that uh, more often than not, you end up stumbling upon greatness uh, when you're willing to 
try out a few things um, and not just settle on what you came up with the first time. Because if I had, you know, that mindset where I was like, well, this is just a one and done everything that I do, my builds would, would turn out a lot differently than they actually do. And one of the reasons why they come out so well is because not only do I take the time to plan things out, but I'm willing to try different things. Something's not working, even if I've already spent a considerable amount of time in it, I'm going to change it because that's just the type of person that I am that's going to stick with me and bug me until it looks the way that I want it to, that I'm envisioning in my mind. So that's kind of like what I'm saying, you know, don't be afraid to make changes. You know, change is a good thing. Because again, it can it can guide you to where you need to where you need to go if you're paying attention to what's standing out to you when you're looking at it and thinking about what you can change to make that look better. cleaning that up from when before we had our doorway in place okay we're in pretty good shape right now And this is when we're going to add in our orange door. And you might be surprised because you might be thinking when I was thinking when I initially added this, like this might just be too plain to do just an orange doorway in the back. But for some reason, it just it pops, you know, and it actually it adds in just a little bit more color with the room. And I think it looks fantastic. Just literally a facade doorway to cover up our slant and just to clean it up just a little bit more than what we have. And now we're going to cover this up with the gray blocks. And then I think we'll pretty much be done the shuttle bay yeah see check that out nice and clean that looks great definitely feels very very much like the Enterprise D primary shuttle bay even though I will admit mine is not nearly as big but again, we also have to remember that my ship's only half the size of a full-scale Galaxy class, which is insane, because it gives you a scale of just how big this thing would have to be if uh, we built it at full scale. And the reason I'm able to figure that out is because my ship has half the decks as a Galaxy class. A Galaxy class um, is at 44 decks so it's mine's actually if I'm not mistaken it's actually just a little bit more than half the scale because if I'm if I remember right I want to say my ship has either 20 between 23 and 25 decks off the top of my head it's somewhere in there so it's just it's it's right around the halfway mark but you know you really can't notice um, to be honest with you um, with the way that we did the windows and everything on the outside, it doesn't look like it's half the scale. To be honest, in that very top corner there, we need to swap that out with gray, just so we have the straight same color in there. 
There we go. Last one. All right. Now we've got more of a lip, but we're not really done yet. Um, I want to give it just a little bit more of a lip on top. But you can see where I'm going with it. I think it looks better than what we had before. Um, definitely feels a lot more how the Enterprise D looks in this area of the ship. But we've got just a little bit more work that I think that we need to do on the outside. sure how I'm feeling if I'm feeling that no I think we're just gonna switch that back to the white maybe we can put a border there or something I don't know just trying to think of something just to tie that together a little bit more on the sides but that's not going to work, I don't think. So now we need to move our escape pods back by one just behind the registration. There we go, that looks pretty good. Matches this a little bit better. Definitely liking how this thing is looking. Those uh, shuttle bays, they look awesome with the doorways now. Now we've got to make an adjustment to our stripe here because remember earlier when we made an adjustment to our cut line um, to accommodate the door, now it's going to mess up this red stripe. So basically we have to fatten the red stripe up by one and then that inner row of the red we're going to have to replace that with white concrete, uh, well no not white concrete, um, white quartz. To be honest with you, it's not even necessarily that much of a game breaker. Um, you could technically leave this part as is. Wouldn't necessarily mess with the build. But I just kind of, where I can, I like to try to stay with the cut lines and have everything match up. You know, it gives it a much cleaner look than where if we just kind of discarded this and moved on to the next section. Yep, see now everything matches up with the cut. Now we just kind of get rid of the red axis on the right side and then we'll be in good shape.
There we go. Now we're now we're cooking. That's looking great. coming back and trying to tidy up just a couple of areas here kind of stand out to me that look like they need it I think that looks better now than what it did before I'm telling you guys after a while you're going to get tired of all these exterior um portions of the build but I mean we're getting a lot done when you think about it um, that was the one area that was not lacking as far as what I was missing um, there are things I was still waiting to complete on the Enterprise D the exterior was not one of them the only thing that I hadn't finished on the exterior was the registration um, as well as adding a couple of uh, rows of the windows um, Which I, I'm honestly, uh, I'm a little salty just that I couldn't do that because uh, I think the ship would look great even after the fact. And see, what I'm messing with right there is that hat, that block right there, is kind of sticking out to me a little bit with it being a full block down. So I'm trying to accommodate that with adding in that half slab so it goes more with a cut. Only thing is, I'm not sure that I like the, the L shape that it creates. Probably the easiest thing to do would just on this row here is bring the cut line up. So this way everything matched on this row going over. But that would take just a little bit of work to do. I don't know if it's necessarily worth it to do all that. Or we can add in that extra lip that I was talking about. That's going to be the other solution. Which I think that might actually work out a little bit better. It's going to be less work than having to kind of rework the whole outside of the left and right side just to accommodate for that single row. See, just with that, just by adding that extra lip right there, now it matches up. And now what we can do is this back row here... Um, we can swap out this gray for the white and that'll I think that'll look uh, pretty good pretty good shape we're starting to wind down today's episode 23 minutes shot by can't believe um, we've already gone by this whole episode but yeah you, you see what I mean now with that lip I mean I just man that looks killer I, I love it that lip and, ha and building out the shuttle bay door for this area only it, it does. It makes all the difference in the world. To be honest with you, I don't know if this would have worked um, with the secondary and tertiary shuttle bays because they never had a lip on the Enterprise D. But, I mean, that lip for the primary, I mean, that was there. And that just screams Enterprise D. Um, 
yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that'll work. That'll work just fine. All right, so we're down in the last couple of minutes, and we're to be shifting back into our, oh, excuse me. We're going to be shifting back into our airlocks. We're making some slight tweaks here. quite sure what I was trying to do well no that's not true I know what I was trying to do is because those um, consoles on the inside I was trying to make it to where I actually had a lip on them and I was trying to fatten it up a little bit um, but I don't know if what I'm doing right there is actually gonna work out at all could actually bring this back <coughs> just a little bit so now it matches with the cut line for the most part actually well no it'll be off by one but it stretches it out a little bit more I need to fix that on this side too didn't even notice that We're pretty much done today. The last thing we're going to do is this yellow um, along uh, where the neck meets with the saucer. We're just adding a, another row to that just to uh, strengthen that line up just a little bit more than what we had before. So now it matches the yellow stripe in the middle. It's looking pretty good. But I think that's going to wrap us up today. We've got a little bit of work done. Still have some more stuff to do on the Enterprise D. But I'm pretty happy with the progress that we've been making on this thing. We've just been rocking it all the way through this whole tutorial. But I definitely think that's going to wrap us up today. I just want to thank you all again for tuning in today's episode. If you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Help me in the, uh, supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And new subscribers, don't forget to hit notifications on so you always get notified when those new videos drop. And speaking of new videos, you can always catch my new Minecraft episodes dropping Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you have any questions regarding today's episode, be sure to drop a comment below or in Discord. Definitely love hearing from everybody. Um, any builds that you want to see me do, uh, be sure to drop uh, your suggestion in the next uh, uh, build suggestion on Discord. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. I just want to thank you all again for tuning in today's episode. I hope everybody has a happy and safe week. And, of course, what did you make in Minecraft? Drop your pictures in Discord or in our community builds. Have a great weekend, everybody.